Hey, what's going on, fellas? What we're looking at right here is a piece of equipment that a lot of people have been asking about. This is an emergency cutoff system for a waste oil burner. Uh, a lot of process control applications have situations where there isn't going to be somebody on hand to sit there and babysit the system. And there are some pretty dangerous situations that can arise, some very costly situations that can arise and messy things can take place if this thing turns off. So if some dust or something were to get into the flame or if a strong gust of wind were to blow the flame out, this system will cut the fuel off and the air off to avoid any catastrophe that may ensue. So I have a sample of dust here that I will attempt to throw into the, to the flame to kind of show you guys what will happen. And we are also going to see the system shut itself off in a flame out scenario. There we go. System starting to heat up. Thermal couples in place, sensing temperature. We're using propane in this test, guys. I don't want to make a huge mess. <laughs> And there it goes, it shut itself off. And you see how that dust was able to put the flame out. And now I kind of overdid it, got a little crazy towards the end there, yeah. I did, but that still shouldn't have happened. The dust should have just blown away and just, you know, shouldn't have affected that flame at all, right? Well, if I put a little bit of dust in that back hole, the same thing will happen. So dust has a very powerful flame extinguishing characteristic. Unless that dust is flammable or explosive, it robs combustion heat from the environment to such an extent that sustained combustion can no longer take place. So dust entrainment in any design that we make, fellas, for any drying application is a huge showstopper. Um, I went through this before drying sand. Even sand, particles as large as sand, once the, the sand dries, it kicks up all this dust. If it gets into the flames, it will put the flame out. So I hope that works out for you, Phil, this demonstration. If you guys do uh, intend to deploy this equipment, I will, of, of course, be providing a diagram of what is going on here. And all this would be put inside of a project box with some actual switches and stuff. This is just stuff thrown together that I have to demonstrate proof of concept that a thermocouple system with the PID controller can be used as an emergency flame cutoff. We don't have to use these valves. This could shut off our fuel pump or whatever, but um, we've got a lot of options here. I just wanted to show you guys what I was talking about when I mentioned a PID controller. Essentially just a quick walk down of the, of the device is what we have here are two solenoid valves. Actually, these aren't solenoid valves. These are what they call servo valves. And it's actually a ball valve with a little motor hooked up to it. And the way we're controlling these valves it was, is with something called a PID controller. This device enables us to sense a temperature and then operate solid state relays to control processes of any kind. So it's a pretty neat setup all right fellas there we go that's all you phil that's my strategy on an emergency cutoff system for a waste oil burner